I'll try and address some of the common questions in this video that I am frequently asked about age-related macular degeneration. Uh, sadly, a very common condition and still remains the commonest cause of registrable blindness in the United Kingdom, usually affecting patients over the age of 60 and predominantly affecting the macular area at the back of the retina. So here we have the model eye. Front of the eye is the cornea, the clear area that allows light rays to pass through. The iris, of course, which everyone is familiar with. Behind the iris, the cataract. And then right at the back of the eye is the area called the macula sitting in the retina. And of course, all of the light rays are focused through the eye onto this specialized area of retina for your fine vision. Unfortunately, this is where age-related macular degeneration tends to have the biggest effect. Age-related macular degeneration comes in two main types, so-called dry and wet disease. Dry disease is relatively slowly progressive, patients often noticing a slight blur which creeps up on them over the years. Wet disease, sadly, much more rapidly progressive, patients often waking up one morning with very blurred vision. Uh, the key difference between, the other key difference between the two being distorted vision. So if you do have sudden onset of distorted blurred vision, you must attend optician, GP or, or an eye surgeon very quickly because there are now treatments that can help. Dry age-related macular degeneration isn't amenable to any surgical intervention at present, although there are lots of surgical trials going on with replacement tissues into the wall of the eye and gene therapy. At the moment, from a practical point of view, these treatments are probably five to 10 years off routine clinical use. Fortunately for wet age-related macular degeneration, we do now have very good interventions in the form of intraocular injections of anti-growth factor antibodies. These antibodies target growth factors produced in the eye in abnormally high quantities in wet age-related disease. And by targeting and switching off their effect, we can shrink down the blood vessels, shrink down the leakage and fluid at the macular area, and usually improve vision. The downside of the treatment is that the injections are needed to be given uh, usually every month and up to at least two years in many cases. Nevertheless, sight-saving treatment, which has only been available for us over the last five to ten years.